you can see they are now moving in the opposite directions and if they collide the game is over so all the logic is working now hello everyone so the chat gpt o3 mini high is here and what really caught my attention was this great at coding and logic so as soon as i saw this i thought to myself that i should give it a go so i went ahead and gave it the good old prompt create a snake game in html but i made one mistake this was actually not running the o3 mini high it was running the o3 mini which is another model that they just released and it says it's fast at advanced reasoning so it's not built for coding but let's see anyways what it gave us so if i run this code you can see it is doing a terrible job because it's not meant for coding so we just get a snake game here and the canvas which says game over and then the score of zero so what i did next is i didn't realize that i was using the incorrect model i told it that this game is not working and it gave me some code it didn't do anything it again printed the same thing to the screen and then i went ahead i told it only game over is written on the screen so this prompt is actually not uh correct i should have done a better job here but anyways it doesn't matter because i was using the wrong model anyways so then from here i switched to the o3 mini high and i told it help me create a snake game so if i copy the code here and paste it save it run it you can see we get a running snake game instantly so you can see we have this snake going on here we have the score and we have the canvas and it's looking pretty good but uh, then i thought that this is not that impressive because we all know that uh, whenever OpenAI trains its models they already have seen these snake games a lot of times so it's fairly simple for these llms now to generate code for a snake game or anything like that so what i did was i thought that let's change some things and see what it does i told it that i want an option to be able to play on full screen and the game should be in high resolution based on the screen size this is fairly simple it should be able to do it and uh, it thought for about 33 seconds and you can see everything is doing here there are a lot of steps it's doing and it gave me the code let me show you you can see we now get the option toggle full screen let me just go ahead and toggle it and you can see the game is in really high resolution now and it's running on the full screen so it did fairly good job at whatever i'm telling it to do but yeah then these are very trivial tasks now uh, because they have seen these kind of things already in the training data set so i thought to myself let's stick to the snake game only but let's change a few things let's add some new things that this llm the o3 mini high might have not seen in its training data set so i told it okay now if the snake collides with its body it should split in half and the new baby snake should mimic moments of the parent snake and if anyone dies game should be over uh, i think this part is not actually correct but the first part is fairly simple it should get it right and if i copy the code let's go here save it open a live server and let's see if it collides with its body will it split in half or not let's make its length a bit bigger you can see as soon as it collided we got the game over so it's not working so i went ahead and i told it that okay i said split the snake in half if it collides with itself and game should continue not get over and let's run the code again let's make the snake a bit bigger and as soon as it collided with its body we again got the game over so it didn't got it right in the second try as well and you can see it is doing a lot of stuff here and if i go up you can see here it almost thought for two minutes and 33 seconds but still it couldn't get it right okay then i said it is still not working let me make it clear i want the snake to split into two snakes if it collides with itself and then both snakes should mimic each other's movements if one snake moves up the other should also if they collide with each other then game should be over also make the initial length of the snake as 10 and let's see what it gave us you can see it got the one part correct i think the length of the snake now is 10 because i didn't want it to play it so if we collide again game over so it's not getting this thing correct because i think it hasn't seen this uh when they trained the model so this is a fairly new thing for the o3 and it's not able to figure it out then i thought that maybe i'm not writing the prompt correctly so i took a help of chat gpt itself and formulated a well designed prompt here and 
It says, I need help developing a snake game with some unique mechanisms. Here are the specific requirements. So it's a well-detailed prompt. If you want, you can pause the screen and read it out. And let's see, here's the code. And if I paste it, save it, let's try again. You can see it is still not working. So as soon as the snake lights with itself, it's not splitting into two. And that was actually it. Then I gave up and I didn't try. We can try it now. We can tell it, hey, it still is not working. Please make it work. So you can see it gave us some new code right now. Let's copy it and let's paste it, save it. Let's run it. Let's hope this time it gets it correct. Nope, it's still not working. As soon as it glides, it tells us the game is over. It's not even trying to, it's not even trying. It's giving us the same output again and again. So yeah, we can now go into code and look where the problem is and then tell it uh, how to solve it. But but I wanted to see if uh, anyone, a layman can just give in a prompt and want to create a game, add some new features, but it didn't work. Maybe it's for this specific task, maybe. But if you look here, it says that how this code works. So it says the initial snake setup, the parent snake is created with 10 segments, which is correct. Head at the center and extending left. That's correct. This thing, it is getting correct. So this part is absolutely correct. And then from here, Whatever it's saying, it's not actually happening. So you can see in the game loop before any split occurs, the new head for the parent is computed. If this new head would overlap any existing segment of the parent snake, the function split snake is called, which we don't see happening. This function divides the snake into two halves. The first half remains the parent and the second half becomes the baby snake. So it is saying that whenever the parent, uh, parent snake's head overlaps with an existing segment, which would be the body of the snake. The split snake function is called and the snake is split into two halves. But we don't see that happening because we see that game over screen popping up on our uh, game. And then it says synchronize moment. After splitting, both snakes are updated. Again, this thing is not happening. We don't see the snakes uh, syncing with each other and splitting and then syncing. We don't see that happening. Then it's saying inter snake collision. Again, we are getting the game over uh, screen. So this all of this logic will happen after that. Actually, it will happen when the split happens, but uh, we don't see any split. We see the game over screen. Then we have the additional feature, a full screen toggle is provided. So what I did actually is I took this part. So I copied this part and I gave it to ChatGPT and I told it that these things I don't see in the game. So from here is the custom prompt. I said, these things I don't see in the game, it is not happening at all. As soon as the snake hits its head with any segment of it, the game is getting over, which should not happen. And it gave us this code. We run it. It's time I really want to play this one. I want to play this game. Uh, oh man, you can see this time we did got another snake, but for a split second, then we got this game over screen again. So I think that's because we had the collision. But anyways, I told it that I think the split happened this time. I saw a flash of blue snake, but then again, game stopped and we got the game over pop up. But I know that that happened because we had a collision. Let's try it again. You can see the game is getting. The snakes are now splitting and they are synchronizing their moments with each other. See if I, <laughs> but uh, it's very hard to play it this way. I'm very bad at this game. I suck at this game. You can see. Oh, uh, nice. The snakes are splitting now. So O3 got that part correct. And then what I did was, because I can see they are now moving in the opposite directions. And if they collide, the game is over. So all the logic is working now. At first, I was very disappointed with O3. Now I'm really impressed. So yeah, this is it. This is uh what i wanted to see and it did it maybe in the future we can do more tests with this model so yeah i think this is it i'll see you in the next one till then peace out